Don't worry, Justin. I am coming. Running to the cafeteria felt amazing. In fact, every time my muscles contacted, felt like a mini pump. That formula must still be working. I thought to myself as I entered. And I suddenly realized how hungry I was, sitting down at my usual spot. I felt kind of ridiculous, with the amount of food on my table, but I knew my body needed it. Hola, oh, uh, hi, who are? Justin. A voice cried to my left. It was Eric, another engineering major, I would study with. Skinny build, short, not much to look at. Dude, is that you? You are huge. And, your eyes. Are you wearing contacts? Oh, um, yeah. I have been working out and, wait, what is wrong with my eyes? I noticed my voice was deeper, sexier. They are just so. Blue and your face. I took out my phone, and my jaw dropped. My formerly average brown eyes were now a beautiful deep blue, but that wasn't all. My skin was perfectly clear, my cheekbones and mass eater muscles were pronounced, my jaw square and chiseled, and my cheekbones were slightly hollow. I had not the slightest amount of fat under my chin. My neck tendons were pronounced and beautifully framed, a masculine Adam's apple. Despite all this, I still looked like me. Like me, but better. I let out a low but audible low. Look man, uh. I sat, pinching the skin of my wrist. Suddenly I paused, not sure if I should tell him about the stuff Logan gave me. If people knew, he would be mobbed by them, wanting it for themselves. I really don't know. I think I woke up like this. I have been changing a lot recently, but how I got to get to class. Can I just eat? Ah, uh, um, yeah man, do whatever you need to, just let me know, if you find out. I suddenly felt quite bad, leaving him hanging like that. Eric probably felt insecure about himself. I would also, if I looked like him too. Look home, I really don't know but, I think, I can tell you tomorrow. Eric's face suddenly lit up. Oh, really? I'll tell you everything I know, just, but I've got to eat now, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Man I would do anything to look like you, I can't wait. After a very awkward style at lunch, I was off to my material science class, I couldn't help, but get a semi thinking about all the people staring at me down the halls. There was one good looking blonde girl in the middle of being hugged by her boyfriend, wistfully gazing at me while biting at her lower right lip. Fuck I'm hot. It was at this point I could really appreciate my new height. Looking downward at people who were taller than me just this morning felt so powerful, so commanding. I wonder how much I gained, two to three inches maybe, damn. Walking into class was awkward. My professor liked to have out physical paper assignments and have them handed back to him on his desk before the lecture. So when I walked by the desk, the professor didn't recognize me at first until he squinted, looked confused, and just waved me by. There were a lot of confused and lustful glances thrown towards my way, and it made me waver between horniness and uncomfortably. I sat in the back of the class, and everything seemed normal for a while, but soon into the lecture, something strange started happening again. <clears throat> it almost felt like a fast low vibration in my muscles. It wasn't too bad. My t-shirt had teared a few inches, revealing a gorgeous Adonis belt, cascading toward my one person unisex bathroom, just as it started up again. This time I couldn't hold back. I watched in the mirror with ecstasy, as the growth hit me again. Model now. Straightening back up, and looking around. I must be about six foot two now, or even taller. I began to tear off the ribbons of former clothing, and started to flex, and run- I started to flex and rub my amazing body, particularly bouncing my new backs. It was the first time all day. I started to flex and rub my amazing body, particularly bouncing my new backs. 
it was the first time all day.